where are you from? I was born in um, Texas, but I've been in Los Angeles for almost 15 years, so I'm going to say L.A. What was your first break? There have been so many. I don't know if it's happened yet. <laughs> Um, my first break, I would, I guess I would say, uh, I was cast on a soap opera and I was living in New York and I came out here to LA, um, to work on it and, um, thought that I would go back to New York and never did. And, and I got a husband out of it. So that's pretty cool. What have you been in? <laughs> um, the highlights? Uh, what? how do you answer that? Um, I would say I'm, no, I'm, I've been in all of it, but I'm known for um, playing Winona on Justified or playing Claire on The Following. Uh, how do you feel about this career? How do I feel about this I feel really good. How did you decide to become an actor? Uh, I was, um, my, my cousin in high school, uh, told me that I should take drama class because it was an easy elective and, um, the rest is history. How would you describe your specialty or type? Oh, I'm really good at being, um, the, uh, ex-wife or girlfriend, um, of the big star or my secondary specialty is being batshit crazy. I've cornered the market on both of those, I think. <laughs> Who's an actor who you look up to? Um, I, oh God. Oh, um, there are so many. I, well, I, well, I'll go with what's topical because I just, um, the last movie I saw in the movie theater was Whiplash and J.K. Simons, who plays this, um, I, I guess he would be the supporting actor in that movie, um, was so brilliant and wonderful that I aspire to have even, you know, a tenth of what he did in that movie. So I'm, I'm going to go with him. It's a weird answer. What would your ideal job be? Any anything where I can just get away with goofing around all day. Do you consider yourself to be lucky? Yes. What advantages do you have? Um, I'm pretty. <laughs> it came to my head. I don't know. It's helped. Um, I think I'm very smart. And, um, I am really good at saying no. What did you do before? Nothing. There, there was no before. Would you rather have a car or a diploma? A car. How do you feel about global globalization? Well, I feel like the Australians are taking all of my husband's jobs. <laughs> Not good, um, but I, oh, that's the short answer. <laughs> the long answer is that I, I lived in England when I was, uh, when I was a teenager, and it was before, it was pre-internet days, and I think phone calls were about two bucks a minute. So I was for, you know, I, I could write letters to my friends, but that's sort of where that ended. I was forced to immerse myself in the culture that I was currently in and um, I don't know that I would have, I don't know that I would be the person I am now if I had lived there during a time when I had, ac I could have access to everything um, like people can now. Um, I, I mean obviously it's, it's great, you have to say it's great, but there are aspects of it that, that you know, I don't know, I think I think you, you lose a little bit of perspective when, when everything is all kind of the same and you have access to all of it. I sound old. What do you think about the amount of stuff people buy? I think it's ridiculous. I do a lot of purging. I do a lot of even, and I don't buy a lot of shit, but I think, um, I think people 
I think people are um, looking for other things, and so they spend money. It's just it's such a generic answer, but it's true. Would you rather live the American way or be a socialist? <laughs> I, should, I should have read these questions beforehand. Um, well, I, I the American way. What does the American way mean to you? Um, well, it means stepping over your grandmother to get what you want, I think. Um, and I'm not proud of that, but I am in a, um, an industry where you kind of have to make the hard decisions and sometimes um, those decisions are selfish. Um, but but I'm, I'm happy so far with the way it's gone. What does the future look like to you? Not Blade Runner. Can you tell me what conflicts or challenges the world is facing today? I, well, I would like it if NPR would stop reporting on what's happening in the Middle East because um, I think we've heard it. I think we've heard it all. I'd really rather hear about. You know what I would like to? Hear? I would like to hear some good news. I think it would be really great if they would be like stories about puppies and kittens. Um, I know it doesn't sell newspapers or, you know, nobody clicks on that, but. Um, I think the more we hear about all that stuff, that's just not going to change because it's not going to change. They're not going to change. Um, the more it sort of poisons us. What is your favorite way to communicate? What do you think of the creative scene in Los Angeles? What is your favorite film, book, or music right now? Oh, um, my husband is playing a lot of Flume, I believe, is the name of the band. Um, we used a couple of their songs um, on our, we just got married, and um, we, I, I curated the, the wedding playlist like it was my job, and um, we used a couple of the songs on that album. So every time I hear that, it reminds me of the wedding. Are we okay with this? Okay. <laughs> Are we done? Is that it? Oh, great.